Welcome back, everybody. I've been hearing about this taxi game. I don't know, I don't know anything about taxi games. I just searched taxi and this came up. I, I How many taxi games can there be? I think this is the only one. This has gotta be the one that people are talking about. So, Super Taxi Driver 2006. I'm not sure why we're going back, you know, eight years and <laughs> playing these video games, but maybe there's something about it, you know, and it looks good. The flames, the church, the, the hot sports car taxis with the scantily clad women. <laughs> That's what taxis are all about, baby. So we're gonna try this one out and see if it, uh, you know, lives up to the hype that has been built. Okay, so uh, I guess these are our drivers. We've got Leela, we've got John, and we have Estelle. Um, now both Leela and Estelle have identified themselves as taxis. You can see on Leela's underwear, it says taxi, and on Estelle's belt buckle, it says taxi. Now John, nothing identifying himself as a taxi, so I don't trust him. I'm starting to lean towards Estelle because, you know, she, she wears her heart on her sleeves, well, more so on her belt buckle, and uh, she's ready to be ridden. So we're going to go with Sleazy Estelle. We know how to make our customers pay more. Not sure how. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sorry. I'm off to a terrible start already. So I'm the new guy. No, I'm a woman. All right, you shut your fucking sexist pig mouth, Hank. Who, who is even named Hank in any world? Does that exist? Lesson one, get there as fast as possible. Well, I would hope that I would understand that basic concept of driving a taxi. So we lose the competition. Oh, okay. <laughs> get there anyway. Kill people. I don't care. Take out trees. Wildlife be damned. The streets are yours to conquer, lady. I don't want to, okay. You don't want the passengers to think that you're a maniac. Oh, it's a, uh, okay, so slowing down saves fuel. Fuel is expensive. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, definitely. What about that flame pickup on the ground? What does that do? It's a, s <laughs> it's a setup. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, okay, so the, the, the taxi mafia, <laughs> the taxi mafia has attacked. This is what it's like in the real world. So, I mean, it's obviously this dangerous. Wait a second. I am not Leela, am I? No, I am definitely a guy. Look, you can definitely see me in there. I am a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> the capiche. Or the black cab. Uh, whatever, I don't care. Uh, wait. Are we doing something different now? Because it's telling me to race, or is it just going to repeat that tutorial section? We'll see. Okay, well, we're done. All right, tutorial over. You died. That's what it's like. So now we're in our black cab. Uh, yeah, black cab. And we get to go make $100. Uh, I guess the arrow will point us in the direction of a customer. I guess this is one, right? Yes, correct. Where are you heading to? You could have entered on the left side. All right, he's going to the university. Let's go. So, I guess we're gonna have to look out for uh, notorious gangsters. You know, all of those hardened taxi criminals that just run people off of the road. You know, whenever you see taxis around town, they do look like they're in too much of a hurry. They're a little reckless. I think this is uh, helping me understand just what kind of situation they're in. It's life or death out there. All right, there is obviously no way <laughs> to make it in the taxi world without, you know, losing a few customers here and there by some traffic accidents. It's bound to happen. I mean, people are gonna set you up. They're gonna push you off of the road if they can. You know, you get what you sign up for. It's a dangerous world and you don't get paid very well for it. You know, only the most dedicated of drivers can become taxi drivers. And I'm glad we have sleazy Estelle on our side. I think she's really committed to her, to doing God's work. 
That just kind of looks like it goes off the edge. There is water there, but it looks very empty. I mean, nobody, nobody's pursuing me right now, so I guess that's fine. I'm sure it will happen at some point though, but I've got to be careful. All right, we've got to get these people to their destinations, to the convent. We don't want them to die. They're a very important client. Okay, we're looking good. So we've only got to make a hundred bucks. Our fare is going to be pretty high, right? Yeah, 133, so we did our job. Home near church. Do I have to circle all the way around? Can I just die? And just end this now because I've gotten the money. I don't need any more. Aren't I done? No, I've got to go all the way back around. It's the only way. I can't take a shortcut? What happened to the whole shortcut deal? I don't see any shortcuts. No, that's just a wall. God damn it. Ah, oh, Jesus. This music is making it seem way more intense than it's supposed to be. Let's just have some fun. <laughs> I imagine I can destroy my car and then I'll be done for. Oh, what's this? All right, is this a speed boost of some sort? Or no, it's not giving me one. Unless there's a key that I need to, oh wait, Q. Q is the boost. That does it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to be a little careful there, Estelle. This is not your property. It is property of the taxi company, whoever that is. The mysterious suited men that run the taxi mafia that we are a part of. These sleazy criminals. <laughs> Alright, we'll be there in just a second, hopefully. We only have 40 seconds left. Can we just be done? Can we, can we get onto something new? We've done this, like 154. Look at that, I've more than doubled what I've needed. Is this not fine? Are you not happy with me? Let's pick up myself in the cab. Yeah, this is, this is me. We're going to the big house. <laughs> Does that mean jail? Does that just mean somebody's mansion that they have called the big house? I'm not sure. How about you tell me, Estelle clone? What is the big house? Why are there only four people in this entire game? Okay, to the left. We've only, oh wait, we're done. Yeah, mission accomplished. Although I can barely read that. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're fine. Yeah, we'll just stop here. We'll leave the customer in the car, we're gonna walk off. So, somebody has accepted my taxi battle challenge? He's got flames on his car. How am I ever going to beat him? <laughs> Look at this monster! Look at how he grips the road! <laughs> Taking it by the horns. No, you get in my car! Passenger stolen, holy shit. Well, I guess I need to uh, get him, yes. The game says I need to get him. So that means... <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just kind of run into him a little bit. Not really doing much. He didn't seem to slow down. He's creating his own fucking problems, it seems. Oh, you're done for. Oh, that's it, get out of the car. All right, we're gonna settle this once and for all. Or am I, oh. Oh, wait, did I steal the passenger, but then I lost the passenger? Oh. <laughs> I didn't notice that she just randomly teleported to my car. All right, well, let's try this again, Harry. <laughs> it won't be good this time, what's wrong with my car? Is my car supposed to still be damaged like crazy from previous attempts? I didn't, oh God, this is gonna be terrible. Is my car gonna shut down before I can even do anything to Harry here? What, <laughs> what if we lose the passenger? What are we supposed to do then? Okay, I am clearly, clearly in the advantageous spot to grab this passenger. Harry, you are done for. Get out of my way, just stay over there. Eventually she will make her way out of this wall. And then I will win, and Harry will be done in this world. All right, get in my car, right now, please. Please. Can you not? Is it impossible? Oh, fuck. Harry, go ahead and try to get the passenger. Like, maybe you can make it work. Can you do that? Harry, I'm giving you an open invitation to get the passenger, Harry. Harry, please. Harry, please. You're not gonna get anywhere without turning your wheels, Harry. 
you're going to destroy your car and <laughs> does that mean I win by default that's gotta be it right hold on look at Harry <laughs> Harry are you okay do you need a lift oh no I think I'm stuck maybe my horn <laughs> Come on, just hurry up and get down there. Eventually, it's got to. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay. All right, Harry, I'm going to help you get out of your car. Harry, do you have a phone? I don't have a phone. I need to call 911. All right, come on. You see me down here. Can you make the first move? We both need to work towards th this relationship being fruitful. If you would just... Please, okay, I think maybe I'm getting myself wedged in there enough. Probably not. You know, I don't I don't think this is meant to be as much as I want it to. I'm I'm trying to find a new way to wedge in there, but it's not letting me at all. It's just Yeah. It looks like I'm about to do it, but then it just bounces off. Ah, oh, God, that looks so perfect. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, so me and Harry, we got off on the wrong foot, but now now we're equals, you know. Me and Harry are equals. We both got cars that are just fine. So we're gonna have a fresh go at this customer. May the best driver not die. Just not die. No, this is my customer. I'm telling you, I will run her over to get her. All right, that's it. Harry, you're done. You will never work in this town again, buddy. You're going the wrong way. Like, how are you going to pursue me? Come on. All right, we're gonna hit that sick boost as soon as we get around this corner and Harry w is just gone. Like, there's no chance for Harry at this point. He's so far behind. Wow. Wow. I said a 10 second car, Harry. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we unlocked Harry's car. That's what we're gonna use. Provide customer support like no one else. What, like there, there is some suggestive nonsense going on here that I am not, you know, completely sure of, but I guess running over my customers is good service. Excuse me. Do you see this rude piece of shit thinking that he can come up to me with his Dumb yellow car. I've got flames on mine. All right, I will push you into the ocean. That is where we're headed. Fuck the fair. I don't care about reaching a goal. I will end your life. You are going for a swim. <laughs> That'll teach you to be rude. Oh, I have no more money. So I'm... We go to car heaven. Our career ends here. We failed too many times. Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, that was that was our adventures with Sleazy Estelle. She tried her damnedest to become the best taxi driver known to man. And she got somewhere. All right, she got a car with flame decals. And I think that we can all say that is exactly what we are all fighting towards in life. She was happy, I was happy, I'm cool. <laughs> well, that's Super Taxi Driver 2006, an obvious classic. I'm so glad to have heard about this. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.